Hi there, and welcome to week two of the Fat Loss Project. Uh, hopefully week one went great for you. You're probably experiencing a little bit of muscle soreness this week, and that's, of course, perfectly normal. And it's a really good sign that you're starting to use a lot of muscles that you haven't used before and an intensity that you haven't used before. So that's really going to trigger a lot of these fat-burning hormones in your body and help you get rid of all that extra body fat as fast as possible. I have some notes I want to go over with you for the second week of the Fat Loss Project. And let's start with some of the strength training ideas here. So last week you were doing entirely body weight exercises. Now this week I'm going to keep every exercise the same or very close to the same. The difference is going to be that we're now adding external resistance. So we're adding extra weight and in circumstances where you're not actually able to use extra weight, I'm going to show you variations for a more difficult version of the exercise. Um, with that in mind, the exercise I'm talking about specifically is a push-up. So although you may not be able to do full push-ups from the floor yet, that's perfectly fine. Remember, you just do whatever you can do now and try and increase that as we go through. But for those of you who are already finding push-ups too easy, I'm going to show you a variation, a decline push-up, that will actually increase the difficulty on that because you can't add external resistance to a push-up. All the other exercises that I have here are going to be just the weighted versions of what you were doing last week. So last week it was just body weight to, be, to begin to the, the, basically the prep phase of your body to get you tr everything triggered and ready to go for the following weeks. Now we're adding that external resistance. Uh, now for cardio, last week you were doing two sets of intervals. So one high intensity, one low intensity and repeating that twice. And you're doing two minutes high intensity and you started with three minutes low intensity. Halfway through the week I had you drop that down 15 seconds. So you were doing two minutes and 45 seconds low intensity. This week, I'm adding an additional set to the intervals and I'm also reducing your rest interval by another 15 seconds. So that means you're gonna be doing three high intensity intervals and three low intensity intervals. The high intensity intervals are gonna be two minutes long. The low intensity intervals are gonna be two minutes and 30 seconds long. You're gonna continue with your five minute warm up just like always. Again, that's just so you can break a sweat get the body warm and ready for the high intensity interval. Okay, so let's move on to nutrition. So basically last week you were doing, eating the same thing every day, the same menu plan. And the reason for that was to keep it very simple for you. I know you have a lot of information flying at you in the first week, so, but eating the same meal plan every day, there's just one less thing you have to think about. And again, you're eating whole, clean, natural foods. You're, pl you're providing yourself with plenty of good quality nutrition and giving your body that energy that it needs for these high intensity workouts. So that was a great start to the first week. But now what I wanna do is start bringing in some a little bit of variety. So what we're gonna do this week is, is provide a two day menu plan, so an alternating menu plan. So you'll have a day one and a day two, and you're just alternating those. So on Monday, you'll have day one menu, on Tuesday, you'll have day two, and you just flip-flop back and forth between those two menu plans. Again, keeping it very simple, but while still emphasizing good whole nutrition, you know, plenty of, of carbohydrates, protein, and healthy fat that you need to facilitate these workouts that you're doing, and also to help facilitate that, that detoxification, that cleansing process. Now, a note that I want to make here is that you know, when you eat a problematic food, and I just call them problematic foods, and by that I just mean any, any junk foods like sugar or even things like wheat and, and heavy starches and, and, and certain things that your body just doesn't react well to and actually triggers body fat storage. These types of foods, once you've ingested them, it takes on average three to seven days to actually clear your system. So by following the same menu plan every day last week and keeping those problematic foods out, now you can be certain that any of those foods you had the week before that weren't good for you, that were triggering fat storage or even allergic reactions or food intolerances, they're now clear from your body. Guaranteed in seven days they're out. For some people it only takes three days. It just depends on your personal metabolism. Now what this means is that you've cleared this out of your system so now the withdrawal symptoms are really going to start to vanish. You probably are already over those by now. If not, in a day or two they'll be gone. But what that means is once this withdrawal is gone, once the problematic food is eliminated from your system, there's no more withdrawal. There's not, there isn't that chemical addiction there anymore. It's not triggering that. You might still have a psychological addiction to some of these foods, and that's just something that willpower will help overcome. But the actual chemical dependency on some of these foods, and caffeine is a, a big one for most people, they get headaches and withdrawal symptoms for the first few days after, and then it's gone. That means that chemical dependence is, is now eliminated because it's completely out of your system. 
that's great because what that means is now your body can go to task on detoxifying and cleansing. So once all this, all these problematic foods are gone, your body starts to shift focus and allows the cleansing process to really start to kickstart and get going full bore. Now, because you're eating a very natural and clean diet, you're not flooding your system with toxins. When you go on a cleanse program where you're not eating very much or you're eating, you know, you know, eating certain foods only very uh, limited select amount of food, or you're using some sort of herbal supplement to help cleanse your body, you flush major amounts of toxins in your body and you feel like crap. And this can last for two or three weeks or more. We're not doing that here. All you're doing is stopping the input of the garbage and letting your body's natural detoxification process start to take place. You might wonder why I stress the importance of detoxification so much. The reason for this is that your body fat is actually storage containers for toxins. So if you have accumulated toxic waste in your body, you know, over years of pollutants and improper foods and all that kind of stuff, what ends up happening is if your body cannot flush out the amount that you're putting in, it has to store it and it stores it in its fat cells. Now, if you continue to this input of garbage and not allowing the natural detoxification process to take place by exercising and eating a healthy diet, then these fat, cell, these fat cells start to increase. They increase in their storage. So it's not until what you've done now where you actually stop the input of the garbage and let your body's natural detoxification process take over that the body fat is then no longer needed. As the toxins release, so will the body fat. And that's why healthy nutrition is so important. And that's why certain diet programs out there that use foods, prepackaged foods that are loaded with preservatives and chemicals and things like that that are actually toxic to the body only work very short term because they're not actually allowing the body to cleanse and the body still needs the body fat to hold on to it to, to buffer all these toxins. So I'm going on a little bit about that, but it's a very important point and I think it's it's something that needs to be addressed. So with basically that covers it. So you, we've talked about your, your exercise program for this coming week, the cardio and your nutrition. Everything's all set up for you. Again, you're gonna have this weekly, this one week summary that I'm sending to you. There you have your all your workouts and your nutri nutrition plan for this coming week, but then I'll be emailing you every day during the week, just as a reminder, as a summary for that day. Remember, we're alternating the diet every other day now to give you a little bit more variety and we're just increasing the intensity on your exercise a little bit just to keep the, the results happening. And remember, this is really a pivotal week for you, so keep to that diet. Do not allow one slip up because, again, you allow that small input of a food that's not good for you. It will stop the detoxification process dead in its tracks. And we don't want that to happen. So good luck on week two, and I'll be talking to you on Monday.